Right, I guess the question of the day is Jalen Milrow. How do you contain Jalen Milrow the way he's playing right now? Uh, extremely high level, uh, extremely talented, uh, you know, not just athlete, but uh, doing a nice job operating the offense and understanding, you know, I know everybody can see the when the plays break down and his ability and what he can do when he gets out of the pocket. But uh, when you watch, you know, the entire season, you know, what he's been able to do, you know, in terms of ball placement and, and, and getting it to playmakers. Um, again, he's playing at a really, really high level right now. When they go through a quarterback situation like that where he loses the job, they do a couple other guys, then he gets it back. In general, what kind of confidence does that give a football player, you know, getting that job back? And ever since then, he's kind of an this right? Yeah, you know, um, it's, you know, competition usually – brings out the best in most players and you know no some can can shrink to it and some can elevate and obviously uh he showed that he can elevate and you can see every week uh that he's behind center he continues to uh gain confidence uh, and i think that the offense has uh supreme confidence in him and so it's a it's it's a really really tough challenge when when you've got somebody that big that fast uh, you know, with that good of an arm, you know, with the weapons around them, with the O-line in front of them. I mean, there, there's a reason that they can put up points in a hurry. You guys obviously face really talented teams every week in Georgia every year, but to have an Alabama team coming here, do you notice a sense of, you know, like it, it's picked up this week among your guys when, when a team like Alabama comes to town? Uh, you know, I, I think the guys understand how big this game is, you know, and um, whether it's Alabama or whether it's the fact that, you know, you're getting down to the end of the season and uh, there are some games that we let slip away or we didn't, you know, necessarily play our best. Uh, and, and so there's no room for error when you're going down the stretch. And so uh, I think there's a, a heightened urgency in that regard. And so, um, you know, I think they'll be, they'll be excited for Saturday. Brad, last time, Kentucky beat Alabama. Anwar had a big play, scored a touchdown. Have you been showing guys that uh, that, that clip yet this week? Yeah. Uh, he, he, you're going to have to ask him. I don't know. I have not seen. I would highly doubt it. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not uh, Stu's style there. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, I've, I've petitioned – you know, the NCAA to see if we could have one more COVID year for him. You know, if we can <laughs> we can get one of those, that would be big. But, no, I think, uh, you know, he'll be he, – he's excited every game. It doesn't it doesn't matter, you know, uh, if it's a scrimmage, if it's game day. You know, he always brings the energy. and uh, But that was a, a big moment in this program's history for sure. When you, when you looked at the Mississippi State take, what, what stuck out to you? I thought, you know, the guys strained, you know, and uh, and they battled and um, still need to, you know, clean up, obviously, and the, especially that one drive, some of the tackling uh, was a little bit sloppy. and um, But they were, again, they were great on the sideline. They had a, a good look in their eye. Um, and there, there was never any, any panic. Obviously, uh, D-Jack's pick six was a, a huge momentum. Uh, shift there, you know, to one, give you some breathing room, and two, just sort of uh, a little bit of confidence, swagger, you know, and, um, you know, anytime you can you can go on the road and you can have a performance like they did, you know, that hopefully that, that builds their confidence. Brad, JQ got to get in quite a bit with Andrew down, and then I think he played a lot at the end of the Tennessee game, too. What have you kind of seen from him progression-wise as he's waited for an opportunity and when he got his chance these last two weeks? Yeah, I think it was, you know, asked about earlier when we were talking about uh, Milrow was, you know, a guy, you know, he, he was able to be the, you know, the day one, you know, nickel guy, right? And then, um, you know, he had to basically sort of re-earn that spot. And uh, he, he came to work every day, continued to compete, continued to battle, and it's made him better. Um, things that we still need to, to push and develop with him technique-wise. Um, but I think there's a, you know, a confidence level that, that's growing within him. And the more plays, you know, he makes, uh, that, that confidence will continue to increase. And so uh, you, you, you hope for that with all your guys, right? Like 
and you don't want necessarily just instant success. I mean, it, it helps. Everybody loves it. Man, he walks right on the field. Man, he's an instant playmaker. But guys need to go through, you know, some of those valleys so they can come out stronger because it doesn't matter how good you're playing at some point, you're going to hit, you're going to have a bad game. You're not going to play well. Um, and you, you have to learn how to overcome that. Uh, and, you know, he's another one of those guys that have they had to push through some adversity sort of early. And, uh, you know, it's made him better, you know, at this point. And we need him to play a big game. Over the course of Alabama's season, have you noticed any changes in how they're using Milrow in the run game, more design? Uh, no, I mean, I think it's – they've just found – comfort and consistency in what they want to do. They've, they've sort of found their identity. Uh, and, you know, we've talked about that from the start to where we are. And, you know, every team is different, and you every team identity is a little bit different. And I think it just took them a little bit to, to find that. Um, but, no, they are, you know, they are who they are. You know, and you, you see a lot of the similarities. You know, you go back and you pull up the, the 2020 film, and it's from a system standpoint, a lot of that's uh, still in place. Now, with little tweaks, obviously, every team, uh, you're going to play to your strengths, but the base core is there. You coached with Coach Wolford for a year here. It, it, I hear people saying, well, he's going to know everything Brad wants to do, and Brad's going to know everything he wants to do as far as protection. Is that stuff overrated? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't think it's any necessarily different than when you face the same opponent every single year, right? And if there's consistency and coordinator, um, you're going to say, okay, how did he attack me last year? How did he attack me two years ago? Has there been a shift, you know? And, and, and so there's obviously little pieces back and forth, but um, I don't know whether it's overrated or underrated, I think. Uh, you know, there's there's obviously a piece of, you know, what what kind of style, you know, and stylistically what somebody likes. Um, but, yeah, that, that – hey, listen, your tape's out there. <laughs> hey, everything I do from a call standpoint is out there. Everything our defense does is out there. Everything their offense does is out on film. So, um, it's no sort of – it's, it's not many secrets in that regard. And so – uh, now it comes down to execution. Alabama's really good at kind of hitting those big explosive plays, those home run balls. So I guess each week, how, how do you kind of prepare for those kind of plays, those real spontaneous game-changing plays? You try to prevent them. <laughs> uh, you know, how, how do you pre- – like, again, you, you try to cap the defense if you can. You try to not let them over the top of you. Um, but, you know, they're – They've got a lot of talented athletes with a lot of speed. Uh, a quarterback with a, a big, big time arm that can extend with his legs and really create some of those off schedule plays too that allow guys to get vertical and get down and create some space. And so, um, yeah, you want the honest answer? Sometimes you just hold your breath when the ball's, there, you know, and uh, you just hope that it's it's not a perfect ball or you know, and, and sometimes you win them and sometimes you don't. I mean. The great teams are able to make some of those. The big thing is we have to have a short memory if they make some um, and play the next down. All right. Uh, question for Dion. Dion, is there any extra juice in practice since it's Alabama and Alabama's coming here? Uh, yeah, you know, any home game at Kroger Field, you know, we're going to try our hardest. We're going to try our best. We're going to scratch and cluff everywhere. Uh, you know, Alabama with the big name, you know, after the big loss to Georgia, you know, at Sad Loss, we coming in still trying to uh, fix our legacy for this year. How much of it do you see as just an opportunity for you guys, not even just because it's Alabama, but to finish the season strong a couple games? Um, it's a big opportunity, you know, just put a stamp, especially on the defensive side of the ball, letting everyone know how good our defense is, you know, um, showing them how we can come together after, you know, not the greatest middle of the season, you know. Uh, after two, three losses in a row, learning how to come off after that. How much, like, I guess, confidence did you gain this last week with, with what you guys were able to do down the start? Um, I gained a lot more confidence. I say in our so a lot of our freshmen stepping up. You know, uh, one big one, Ty Bryant. You know, he was 
a co-freshman of the week, you know, like 14, 15 tackles, you know, just, he's just a great ball player and it's great to see him doing big things. You had some adversity early in that game, but responded really well to that 20 play long mm -hmm. drive. What, what was the difference in that? And maybe some other times this season where it didn't, it didn't go that way. Yeah, that's just really, I feel like our camaraderie was there. You know, we were all together, you know, um, coming after, you know, a loss, we come in to, you know, try to keep our legs here, like I said at the start. Um, we were just together, you know. Uh, we all we ha had, so we all, we, that we needed. You know? How tough, sorry, man. How huh? tough is it preparing for Jim uh What does he bring to the table? Um, you know, he's an athlete. He's a second fast person on the team, Coach White told us. Um, they got a great offensive line, you know. Two freshmen? On their left side, you know, with Tyler Book and the 360-pound cat. But, you know, he's a great athlete. You know, he can make a play whenever he needs it. We just got to work on occasional, uh, not letting him escape up and out. On the, on the call-in show the other night, Coach Cohen said he wouldn't mind getting you a left tackle. <laughs> for, <laughs> at least for a player. <laughs> Would you go for that if they ever said he would? Left tackle? Not really. <laughs> <Four back. laughs> yeah. Fullback, you got me. <laughs> One caller actually said after that, he said he wants to see you in the goal line. Yeah, I've been pushing for it ever since like week two. You know? <laughs> it's uh, senior day too. Just how, how important is it for you guys to send the seniors out? Uh, it's very important. You know, um, a lot of them are my brothers, been my brothers for the past two years of me being here. Um, like 10, 15 years down the line, I know that I could call them and you know, ask them anything. I could get anything from them. Like, when I was at my lowest, they were there with me. So I feel like it's going to be very meaningful to uh, send them out with a win. Coach Stewart has a W and a, and a big play against Alabama on his resume. <laughs> Does that ever come up? Yeah, you know, he likes to, he likes to showboat, you know, his pig. <laughs> but, you know, I'm like, you a D-line coach. That don't mean nothing. So, but, yeah, you know, he he's, you know, he's a great coach. He's very energetic. And let me say that about Alabama. Growing up around football, what's it mean to go play in the coaches, legendary as Nick Saban? Uh, it means a lot because, you know, everyone knows his name. No matter where you go, you can go all the way up north, all the way down south, east, west. Everyone knows Nick Saban, you know, and it's it's great to go against a coach like that because, you know, he's the best of the best, and that's why I'm in the SEC to play. All right, everybody good? Thank you.